Welcome back and let's turn now to entertainment. Chris Atto is a Ghanaian actor and filmmaker. In the second installment of my conversation with him, he talks about film industry in Ghana, his career and the challenges African filmmakers face. I can definitely say that it's a great time to be a filmmaker in, in Africa because all eyes are pointing to Africa now. You've got the bigger studios, um, the bigger companies that are looking for African stories that seem to have exhausted everything else, you know. And I mean, when you compare it to Bollywood, Bollywood has been around for ages, you know. In fact, um, the Indians and the Asians were the masters of cinematography for a long time. And I'm excited because, like I said recently, a lot of Africans are now trained. So I'm looking forward to the days where our films are going to, you know, be a part of the Oscar nominations and the Golden Globe nom nominations. And um, they're going to be in a place where not only can people relate, but they will tell you about the, cu the culture, about the people, about what, what, what's really going on down there. Mm -hmm. Up to this point, uh, there hasn't been a heavy investment uh, in African film. Uh, what would you uh, tell those who have the capacity to do that, not outside, but actually on the continent itself? Right. Well, I mean, I'm definitely going to reach out to, to both um, because, of course, this is a platform that um, has many eyes watching. But it's, it's something that we can definitely use a lot more of, more investors in our film industries. You know, these stories are amazing stories. African stories leave messages. All do, do you think um, African business people, for example, see the entertainment value of a film, but they never see the business side of it? This is true. And lucky for us, this is changing, you know. Um, but I think that we need to be able to bring the business side, you know, closer to home. One way or the other, every businessman is looking to make returns. Uh, Today, you know, films are not necessarily reaping in, but there's a huge potential like anything else. You know, once the right hands are attached, it will be a seller. And I'm, I'm definitely going to take advantage and invite, you know, a lot more investors and say, you know what, African films need to be told properly. So put your money where, you know, where we need it. Uh, talking about African movies, we know that uh, we have some brilliant actors across the continent, uh, great producers in South Africa, Nigeria, and Kenya, Ghana, everywhere. Do you envision a situation where you can have the best minds come together, uh, say the best writers develop a script, yeah. the best film producers from the continent, mm. marshal the best actors and actors, and make a great African movie, not a Ghanaian movie, not Nigerian movie, not yeah. South Africa, but just a movie from the continent by Africans themselves. Yes. Vince, you've picked my brain because that's something I'm looking forward to. I'm actually hoping that I could be the first to put something like that together, you know, and maybe following in the lights of Nkrumah, one way or the other, unite the continent through the power of filmmaking. Yeah, but that means you, there has to be some some Something synergy. developing right yes, now, you know. Yes, so do you, is there a conversation have ever... It is, it is part of the reason why I'm in the States, you know, at the moment. Um, and it's, it might be premature to say anything, but one way or the other, it's something that we're all looking forward to, and it's something that we're literally, you know, knocking on the doors of every single businessman or anyone that can make it possible. It starts with someone, you know. Let's hope that I'm in the right place. I think you are. Uh, just finally, what is it uh, that you may want you, our viewers to hear about you, about what you do that probably haven't asked you? Um, you know, one way or the other, uh, I like to take advantage of every platform that I'm on, and I've already said thank you for having me, Vince. But, you know, as a young actor that's, that's been in the industry for a while and continues to grow, I, I'm definitely taking advantage and you know and, and I'd like to encourage anyone who wants to do what we do or um, who feels oh I'm in Africa somewhere and I probably would never make it you know a fine example is young Abraham Mata who's just flown from the nobody area to somebody you know and so I'm, I'm taking a, the opportunity to encourage anyone out there who wants to do this or wants something bad enough once you want it bad enough the universe will conspire to give it to you Chris Atom.